meeting or a class on Zoom, you want to open up the app in our, on your computer and then click on schedule. Then you're going to go ahead and honestly, I would just put the name of the class like ballet two. Then when is it? Okay, well, this one is Tuesday and it starts at 5 p.m. And it goes to, let's say, 6.30. Now, the way to get this so that it's not um, just a one-time meeting, you want to click on recurring meeting so that that is on your calendar every week so that you don't have to go in and add every class every week. It's just on there. Then at the end of this chaotic time, you can just go in and stop it all. And that's really it. You want to go in and click schedule. And you want to do that to all of your classes. Um, then what you're going to do is add it to your calendar so that it's on your studio calendar. Click save. I would recommend adding the teachers right here. And then get rid of this because you don't need Google Hangouts for that. And then click save. And send. And there you go. Okay, so now... Whenever you want to add someone to that event, you could just go in there and add the attendees. But what I would recommend is just highlighting that, click copy, putting that in your spreadsheet of classes so that when you send out an email via Jackrabbit, Studio Director, Studio Pro, whatever you have, you can just send them that direct link. And you can tell them, hey, it's at your regular class time. Just click on this link and we'll be meeting live on Zoom.